people to arise and honor the bride. Brian, would you receive your bride? You two will step up towards me, please. We gather here today at the Caesars Palace Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, to celebrate the uniting a marriage of this man, Brian Beneticla, and this woman, MJ Irasare, in matrimony. Marriage is a union where two people who love each other and are committed to one another come to spend the rest of their lives together with the goal to bring out the very best in each other. So would you please look into one another's eyes? Brian, do you take MJ to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, honor, and protect her and her alone? Do you pledge your love and your fidelity? If you agree, please say I do. I MJ, do you take Brian to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, honor, and cherish him, and him alone. Do you pledge your love and your fidelity? If you agree, please say, I do. I do. Would you both do me a favor and take a nice deep breath? May I have the rings? Thank you, sir. When God entered into a covenant with Noah, you painted a rainbow across the heavens for the whole world to see. And you two have chosen these rings here for the whole world to see. That you have a covenant now, one with the other. And then he said to Noah, each time I look at a rainbow, I will remember the everlasting vow that I made with you here today. So each time you look upon your rings in life, be reminded of the vows you've just agreed to here, but especially to those that you're about to speak. Brian, would you take that ring and place it on the ring finger of MJ's left hand? Put it right in front. Hold them there in place. Look into her eyes and repeat after me, please. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. All my heart's affection. All my heart's affection. And all that I am. And all that, all that I am. I give to you now. I give to you now. My wife. My wife. Before God. Before God. And our family and friends. And our family and friends. MJ, would you take this ring, please? Would you place that ring on the ring finger of Brian's left hand? Hold it there in place. Look into his eyes and repeat after me, please. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. All my heart's affection. All my heart's affection. And all that I am. And all that I am. I give to you now. I give to you now. My husband. My husband. Before God. Before God. And our family and friends. And our family and friends. At this time, when Mike and Mark come forward to place the lazo over the couple, yeah. marriage is a holy institution established in heaven by the divine wisdom and kindness of a loving God. And the lazo represents, as it's written in the scriptures, that a man shall leave his mother and father, and he shall be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So if you'll place one loop over her head and one loop over his head. All right. And let us bow our heads as we say a prayer of blessing over their marriage. Dear Father in heaven, we come before your throne, and we bring Brian and MJ with us. We thank you that you personally witnessed the vows they've spoken here today. That you will open up your throne in heaven and release an ever ending river of love and blessing into their lives and marriage. Carry with it prosperity, success, joy, and happiness. Let it fill each of their days with deep, rich love. And let it bring them into the true oneness you've called husbands and wives to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Would the couple, designated couple remove the lazo? Thank you. Thank you. 
And RJ, would you bring the Otis for? The Otis are an ancient tradition, and they represent Jesus and the 12 apostles and the management of the worldly goods of this couple. So Brian, would you please present those to MJ and repeat after me? Receive these gems. Receive these gems. They are a symbol. They are a symbol of the care of the care that I shall take. That I shall take. Seeing nothing is lacking in our home. Seeing nothing is lacking in our home. MJ, receive them and repeat after me. I receive them as of a symbol. I receive them as a symbol of the love and care and the love of of love and care, and of love and care that I shall take. That I shall take. Seeing that nothing is wasted. Seeing that is not, uh, that nothing is wasted. Yes, I'll take those. Go ahead and hold hands. We're about to perform the lighting of the unity candle, which essentially is symbolic of two people with one life before them. But before we do, I want to remind both of you that neither one of you is going to give up your individuality nor your uniqueness, because you see that's the way God created you, and you bring that to the others as strength. But today you step into a whole new place, and so now you have a common goal before you, to reach the end of this life together and in love. And to do that, you have to remember to keep God first, your love next, then your marriage, your family, each other, and finally self. And as you do, you'll stand in the very power of this love and the very strength of this union. So Brian, would you please escort your bride over to light your candle? You'll take out your tapers and touch your flames together. And light your candle. This symbolizes the two becoming one flesh before God. More, more, more. That's it. Perfect. Yeah, it tilts a little bit. There you go. You'll step back toward the center and hold hands again. A little step towards him. Go ahead and hold hands. I want you to continue looking into one another's eyes. And I want you to think back to that very first moment when you knew that this was the one. This was the person you wanted to spend the rest of your life with. You step into a deeper commitment today, and I charge you to keep true to the vows that you've agreed to and spoken here. Always remember you're holding your very best friend by the hand right now. Always be quick to forgive each other. And never forget that love is not an emotion. It's a decision. It's a sign to put the other person before yourself every single time. If you two will accept this charge, then please say I do. I do. I do. And by the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, it is my honor and privilege to pronounce that you are husband and wife. And Brian, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Jennifer, would you give MJ her flowers? Would all rise, please? It's a great honor and privilege to present you all for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Brian and MJ Banaticla. Mm -hmm. 